Hi guys, I wanted to try this gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix that I got from Trader Joe's. And I wanted to let you guys know if it's easy to make and if it tastes good. I will be making it vegan. Right now I am trying to decide if I want to make pumpkin bread or muffins. You do need to decide this at this point because the temperature is different for both. For pumpkin bread, it's 350 degrees. For muffins, it is 400 degrees. I have decided to make pumpkin bread. So, and here I am trying to be helpful to sh in showing you the directions, but I don't think you're going to be able to see it. So I will put them in the description box. And so I am setting my temperature to 350 degrees. It, the directions say to grease a loaf pan, but I prefer to use parchment paper so that I don't have to use oil. So here I am pulling out a sheet of parchment paper. I always do this with my baking because I just find this to be so much easier than using oil anyway because the baked goods just slide right out. You don't ever have to worry about it sticking, especially when you're making breads or cakes. Oh, and brownies too. And then I cut off too much, so I just trimmed it. And now I am going to measure out the water. It calls for one cup of water. And I'm not sure why occasionally it turns pink. I think it's because my cat was kind of going back and forth. My camera is on my uh, refrigerator, and my cat likes to jump up there. So please excuse that. I apologize. The recipe calls for two large eggs. I am using a commercially available egg replacer by a company called Energy. In case you don't know how to do this, their uh, instructions are to use one and a half teaspoons of their product and two tablespoons of warm water per egg. So for this recipe, I will do three teaspoons of the powdered product and four tablespoons of warm water. I'm just waiting for the water to warm up. It takes a few seconds. And then I will count out four tablespoons. Then you want to beat the mixture with your egg beater until it's white and frothy. I usually do this on a lower setting for a few seconds until it's mostly mixed together and then whenever it's almost done I will increase the setting to a faster speed just to make it extra fluffy. In the end you want it to look like uh, egg whites do whenever you've beaten them and they are white and frothy. Now I am opening the box of mix and I'm going to dump the entire contents from the bag inside the box into this bowl. And then once we get all of those contents in the bowl, I will add the next ingredients. And this smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it through your screens. It is delightful.
I'm pouring the cup of water into the mix. And then it calls for half a cup of oil. I am using canola oil. I'm pouring the oil into the bowl and I'm tapping the sides to make sure that I get all of the oil in there. And then I'm going to use a rubber scraper to mix everything together. With conventional baking with glutened flours, you want to be careful about over mixing because over mixing builds more gluten and it can make the final product very tough. However, I have not found that to be the case with gluten free baking. So I am just going to mix thoroughly until I don't see any more dry lumps. My cat just jumped from above the refrigerator onto the refrigerator and I looked up at him and smiled at him. He likes to help me cook. You want to scrape all of the batter into your loaf pan and then I really like to make sure I scrape it all to get everything. I really don't like to let it go to waste. And now I am just shaking the pan down to level it out. And then I'm using my rubber scraper just to level everything out because we want it to bake evenly. So you want it to be the same depth all the way through. I'm putting it into the oven and I am setting my time to one hour. It says 50 to 55 minutes or, or until golden brown for the bread. However, I know my oven tends to run cold. So I adjusted it by five minutes off of the longest time just because I know that my oven usually needs it. For muffins, it would be 20 to 22 minutes at 400 degrees. And don't forget to lick the, the bowl. That is probably the best part. This batter tasted delicious. I recommend it. And it's vegan, which means no eggs. So it's totally safe. I don't have toothpicks, but I have bamboo kebab skewers. So I'm gonna use that to test it to see if it's done. It has been baking for one hour. But whenever I poked the skewer into the middle, it still looked very wet. So I put the bread back into the oven for another five minutes. I apologize for that crinkling sound. My cat Porter no. was trying to sleep inside of my paper bag that I use for recycling. He's always doing that. It has been five more minutes and now whenever I poke the bamboo skewer through the center, it comes out looking perfect.
top is nice and golden and you can see some slight cracks through it but all in all it just looks well baked so I am going to let it rest for a few minutes because in baking it does continue to bake for a little while once you remove it from the oven oh my gosh this smells heavenly I wish you guys could smell it it is so delicious I'm so excited. All right, I took a shower and I washed my hair and that's why I'm wearing a towel. I forgot to get a knife. All right, it smells really good. It is falling apart, but that could be my fault. It's not like totally cooled down. And also, maybe I didn't bake it long enough. And sometimes that happens with vegan and gluten-free baking. Yeah, this definitely looks like I didn't bake it long enough. I baked it 15 minutes longer than the shorter amount of time and 10 minutes longer than the longer amount of time. Still good though. Remember I pulled the toothpick thingy out. It looked fine. So I would recommend sticking it in a few places. I just put it in the middle. Maybe like one side of my oven was hotter than the other. Because I didn't rotate it. Halfway through. Maybe I should have done that. Mm. It's good though. And we're not saying it's the absolute best pumpkin bread I've ever had. But it's good. It probably would have been better if I had baked it better. Like, let me see if I can show you. Like, do you see that? Oh, it's still like really doughy. Let me try the other side. It seems to be pretty doughy over there too. Ah, darn. Like the top is baked nicely. <sighs> well, I would bite it again. I would just bake it longer. I was being a little concerned though because I it smelled like burning pumpkin bread. My cat's still trying to sleep in my recycling. So I was being worried that it was gonna burn. So maybe I needed to add some kind. It does taste like, you know, the traditional, like, pumpkin spice stuff. Like, um, nutmeg and cinnamon and stuff. And definitely pumpkin. I'm going to say that this would probably have turned out a lot better if I had baked it more. So I'm not going to call this a fail. This was probably user error. That's the thing with gluten-free baking, it's so hit and miss. And with vegan baking, it can be a little hard to tell when something's completely baked through. Because it doesn't change much in color, because it doesn't have um egg in it. A lot of that golden brown color that you get is from egg whites. It passed the toothpick test. I don't know why it's still so doughy. Oh well, if I see this at the store again, I will buy it, and I'll try it again. I'll just remember that I need to bake it for a lot longer than what it says. It's said 55, no, 50 to 55 minutes, so 
I baked it for an hour and five minutes. I probably should bake it for maybe like an hour and 20 minutes. But like check it around like an hour and 15. is supposed to be moist like right here it kind of looks okay like it's not like super doughy right there but it is a little undercooked okay well I hope you guys liked this it was my my first cooking review type thing and hopefully my cats aren't too distracting um, I'm still gonna eat it. It's good. <laughs> the nice thing about being vegan is I don't have to worry about undercooked stuff. Like there's no um, egg in it that I have to worry about. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.